Hi everyone. Hi, hi, hi. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. How are you all doing? Yeah, so my name is Dolcast and thank you so much for choosing to watch video this video. Thank you for clicking it. And before you go on, kindly guys give it a thumbs up and I say the thumbs up will help YouTube to recommend my content to many viewers. Hence, we'll grow. Yeah, guys, so I'm starting this video here. All right, guys, so I'm saying I'm starting the video here as I'm doing some cooking and it is around 6, 6, 6, that, six around 6 in the evening. Today I'm a bit late in terms of cooking because I usually do my cooking by four the food is ready, but today is one of those days that you find yourself umechelewa kupika, but all in all, we are going to do it even if to mechelewa. So guys, the thing is today we are going to do some rice and this rice... It's not what you think because we are going to cook rice, kamande, carrots, and waru in one pot. In one pot. This one, this rice is called mchere guatanero. If you come from the, where I come from, from the mountain region, you know guatanero is ushirika. So this mchere is called mchere ushirika. So I'm going to do it. And I hope you enjoy, guys. I hope you enjoy. I don't have that much time to to prepare the stew and the and the rice separate and then the vegetables separate so guys i have to combine this rice commander dish and I, I make it on one pot so that it becomes easier for me and i'll be able to save a lot of time so um i won't be talking too much on this video guys because i know you know what is uh you yani i mean the the steps are self-explanatory so guys please uh follow the steps enjoy the music and tell me if you do make this one pot dish. Ama ni mimi tu na kwanga peke angu. Yeah, so guys, let's engage in the comment section. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. I mentioned this is one pot rice. So, and the ingredients are very simple. Yeah, guys. So here I have some rice. This is just a local rice. This is biryani rice. Yeah, so I have some rice. I have some carrots. I like it when my food has a lot of carrots. So, yeah, carrots with taona ziko mingi. I have some potatoes. Potatoes, I like chopping them in big sizes so that they don't, they don't mash up when they are cooking. And then I have some red onions and I have some garlic. I have grated my garlic. You can choose to dice it, to dice it well and good. And then for the spices, guys, I'm going to use the rose, nini. What is it called? The cumin seeds. Is it the cumin seeds? Mekapa kwa rosemary. For the for the spices, I'm saying you are going to use some cumin seeds. Yeah, so I have cumin seeds. I have cumin powder. But for this recipe, I'll use the cumin seeds. No, na cumin seeds zina kwanga very tiny. And the thing is, you have to use this cumin seed when you are cooking the onions. I'll show you guys. And then the other spice that I'm going to use is curry powder. Yeah, so these are the only spices that I'm going to use. Of course, we have salt and we have some oil. Let's cook. Guys, I forgot to, guys, I forgot to mention that you also need some kamande. Yeah, these are my kamande. I've just boiled them now. So they are cooling off. So let's cook, let's cook, guys. So guys, my oil is heating up. Now I'll add in the onions. I'll allow the onions to cook until golden brown. So guys, my onions are starting to brown. They're already starting to brown. And at this point now, I'll add in the garlic. I'll add in the garlic. I'll stir for around 30 seconds. And then now I'll add in the cumin seeds. So guys, um, so guys, these are my cumin seeds. I'll just measure the amount that I need. But then my people, they, these cumin seeds, when they burn, they tend to have a really bad taste. So here we are just making them fragrant and we are not allowing the, allowing the seeds to burn. I'm telling you, if you eat rice and you may pick one uh, cumin seeds, you may burn, you will not like it. So... The good thing is that they, they become fragrant very quickly. So I'll just keep on stirring to ensure they don't stick on the bottom of the pan. Yeah, like so, like so. 
Yeah, I can already start to smell the aroma. My top, my potato, yeah, and then I'll stir. I also allow this to cook for around uh, one one and a half minutes to two minutes, so that the the potato soften a little bit, yeah. So at this point, after two minutes, I now I add in my lentils. Lentil, Kamande by the it's the it's called lentils. So I'll add everything in, and then I'll also stir this. Yeah. So at this point, I'm now going to allow the Kamande to absorb all the flavors before adding in the rice. So guys, my rice is ready to go in now. Yeah, and now add in the washed rice. Remember the ile kitwenye umetumia kumesha now the rice is what you use to also measure the water. So if you use this one cup of rice, double the amount of water and that one will give you a, the best best result. Yeah, so I'm just going to measure my water. Once my, once my rice has boiled, I'll reduce the fire to low so that to allow the rice to cook slowly. Okay, guys, as the, as the rice is cooking, I'll now prepare the, the cabbage. This is the cabbage that my mom brought me from Chad. So I'm going to prepare this cabbage. Yeah. Take one to do. Take one to do. Take one to do sour.
this mchada ushirika yeah there you go guys this one is so yum look at how my rice turned out yeah so but then you ambiani kama nyinyi mnapikanga hivi mchele ya kuchanganya kila kitu yeah, so this is it guys the waruza cooked the um, the kamande you can see them you can see the potatoes but the potatoes were already few and then we have the carrots everything is done here so guys before i plate this i want now to prepare the the, the the cabbage let me show you what you need for the cabbage all right guys for the cabbage you need some cabbage i've already chopped this and then you need some cabbage and then you need some tomatoes and then you need some some onions you can use any onion you have if you have the spring onions or the white onions is okay you can use it so guys let's get to the cooking i'll add in the i'll add in the onions Cube and some salt. You choose, you can choose to add it or not, but for me, kunatesh na tafuta leo, so I'm adding in one Reco cube. And remember, the Reco cube has some salt, so remember to reduce the amount of salt that you put in, so that you don't over salt your food. Yeah, so, so I now allow this to cook until the tomatoes form a big shape before I add in the before I add in the cabbage so guys uh, I've already added the cabbage and uh, I'm now waiting for it to cook this one will take around three minutes so that I cook so that to be fully cooked and then my flames are really high so that this cabbage does not take long in the in the fire and it end up over cooking yeah so let's wait for the few minutes so guys our minutes are over let's take our cabbage so i'll stop <laughs> Guys, our food is ready. Our steamed cabbage. I like my cabbage. If you make nyanya vizuri, when it's so colorful, yeah, that's how I like my cabbage. And then, guys, over here, we have our one pot rice, which looks also absolutely delicious. So the next thing now to do is to serve. Yeah, and we enjoy our dinner. your steamed cabbage and then you have your one pot rice and this is my go-to method my go-to meal when i do not have time in the kitchen i usually rush for something that is very quick 
something that is healthy from the family and then we have our dinner or our lunch one of my go-to meals is also ugali and mayai or ugali and mala and some vegetables these are some things that i rush very quickly when i don't have time i cook them and within a short time we have our meal so this one took around I think one hour because I I uh, I did uh, the I had prepped the the ingredient for the rice but I did I had not prepped the ingredients for the kamande for the veget for the cabbage so this one has taken me maybe around one hour yeah one hour to cook everything but I can't uh, I'm so happy for myself I'm so happy that I've made this meal in a quick quick in a in a very short time. And on the other side, my children are already eating. Yeah, guys. So I think I'll end the video here. My people, give this video a thumbs up. You can share, you can comment. And in the comment section, let me know which is one of your to go to meals. Yeah, so for me, I've just mentioned this. So this one is uh, very easy and very quick. Now, guys, before I to Haziko, let me end the video here. Thank you so much for watching until this point. Please give it a thumbs up. You can also share. You can comment. And we'll see you. I'll see you on another video. Until then.